in the forest of New Hampshire in Virginia. Come on, boys. Two new outfits are changing the game. Basically, I've had oxen for about 40 years. I probably started using them in the woods, you know, probably when I was 12 years old, something getting out firewood and things around the house. And I started ox logging when I was about 15. I definitely would think that it's one of the harder ways of doing logging. It's probably one of the cleanest ways that you could do it. After you're done, the woods, they look fairly untouched. I mean, that's why a lot of landowners like doing it that way, I think, so. Come on! The wild. I'm a biological woodsman, and I manage the forest with draft horses. The horses have remarkable maneuverability in the woods, so the horses give us the ability to be really sensitive with our harvesting and have the most amount of control in, in the woods, and they're a great power source. Come on. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, whoa! You love your animals. Taking care of horses, I've been doing it, and it's been part of my life forever. Yeah. Oh, Clifford, <laughs> fruitcake, what do you say there, nuts and berries? Even over a deadline, our horse's comfort is, is number one. What? You have more in there, bud. What are you doing? More grain. We gonna put a set of shoes on this boy now. He's earned his shoes. Well, this is all like, almost like going out and adjusting the air pressure in your tires, you know, to get your tires balanced. Real routine maintenance. Good for your car, good for your tires. Alrighty. Hot hat! One! We have three really good pulling pair of bulls that we use for logging. Stubb and Ted are the bigger ones. They could probably pull at where they're at right now, maybe 5,500, maybe 6,000 pounds. Hey! Come here. Back up. Whoa. And you just broke that right off, which is bad. See that right there? See how short the other one and how long this one is? It needs to be like trimmed off now and shaved. Hey, Dad, stub toe. What? The tip of his foot. Well, that's not good. With the back toe? Yeah, one of them's way longer than the other one. I think you might be able to cut it yourself. The inside toe there. Yeah, that'll be all right. We got the trimmers in the truck. It's like if you were walking around with bare feet and had a long toenail that was hitting the ground every time and you were bending it back, imagine how much that would hurt. It's not way longer than the other toe now. That's all, but... So it's, it's kind of even now, as you can see, so that's good. He wasn't, like, hurt and wouldn't have gone, but if we didn't do a little preventative maintenance, then he could have gotten hurt. 